Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do another handbag review. So this is the handbag that I brought down for this month. It is the Louis Vuitton, I think it's called the Saint Placide bag. So anyway, I'm going to go through the usual, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, some overhead shots to show you uh, the inside of the bag, kind of like what fits inside. And uh, yeah, so anyway, let's get into it. So with uh, each of my handbags, there is a little memory or story attached to them. So this one I got three years ago in uh, Dublin, Ireland. So I got this in January of 2019. My husband and I were getting married that summer at Drummond Castle in County Clare. So we popped back over to do some more wedding planning and then after that we drove to Dublin for a couple days. So that's where I got this bag. It is a fantastic bag. It's very durable and not that heavy at all. There is a little bit of wear and tear in the corners, but I mean that happens. It's not even that noticeable. I'll point it out when I do the overhead shots, but it's uh, yeah, not that bad. I don't know if this is still available on the website, but I'll take a look on the website and pop it in. I do think you can buy this uh, on the resale markets. They might have them. And uh, if you're looking to buy it secondhand, maybe try that. But yeah, let's uh, pop it on and see how to wear it. So I just repositioned everything so we can take a look at the bag on. So it does have this nice long chain. I like that it has this leather piece at the top instead of it being a full chain because sometimes it hurts when the bag is a full chain. I have some bags that are, yeah, don't have the leather piece and it hurts when you wear it on your shoulder. So this bag, yeah, you just usually wear it like this. You can double up the chain and wear it like this. Or even crossbody as usual. So here is a closer look at the bag. So I do have hardware protectors for this bag as well, but I haven't put them on yet. I haven't decided if I want to or not. But so you see there's a tiny bit of wear and tear on the corners. Very minimal. It's not even noticeable when you're wearing the bag. And you know what happens on the corners of bags usually. So on the inside, plenty of room. And then this additional zip pocket. So I do have this organizer that I bought for actually my YSL envelope bag, but it didn't fit quite right, but it actually works perfect in this bag. So I've been using this, but anyway, I can show you, you know, my wallet fits inside, my phone, my keys will fit, you can fit lipstick. Um, yeah, you can fit quite a lot in here. Nice strong magnetic closure. Take a look at the back. So overall, I don't really have any negatives about this bag. I think it's a uh, fantastic bag. It's super easy to get in and out of. It has a lot of space on the inside. It has that nice pocket on the inside as well. The magnetic closure is nice and strong. So this flap is not going to just pop off on you. Uh, it keeps it nice and secure. And the structure, it's pretty structured. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a structured bag. 
I do keep some stuffing on the inside of it when I do have it on my shelf. Um, there is that slight, ever so slight wear and tear on the corners, but that's just going to happen as you wear a bag, especially on the corners. Um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend this bag. I would say 9 out of 10. So when I have been storing the bag or just putting it on my shelf, I've just been popping in these little sealed air things. What I think I'll do now instead though is just keep the organizer on the inside instead just to help keep it structure. So I'll just pop that in. So once again, thank you for joining me in my closet in doing another handbag review. So anyway, if you liked this video and you like this type of content, I would appreciate if you liked, shared, and subscribed. You can also catch me on Instagram and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.